Right. All my senses are assailed by just the look and smell of them. Draw swords and make ready. Hello, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Carpus Cops Game Channel, and I'm bringing you once again another wonderful battle on Rome 2 Total War. Uh, once again, as you can clearly see, I am back to my meeting ways my cavalry up there on the far right hand side, and I'm here once again with uh, Hawkey playing as Rome. And we're against, as you can see, Sparta and Garte. I do believe you pronounced him as Garte, I actually can't remember how to pronounce these guys very well. Uh, straight off the bat, the first things we saw was. Oh, yeah, defensive. I. I you've got these two demons in the game. Uh, well, they're worried, not really, because I know how fussy these little balls can be. And yeah, they can do a lot of damage to cavalry, but when they're, you know, facing uphill, with their men downhill, it, it, they, they become just a little bit interesting in themselves. But, um, uh, first off, as you can see here, clearly I don't really want to have all of my guys here, but um, against uh, Garte, they're going to have a lot less armor than. Um, that are Sparta, so be very careful. And also have to be most be careful about now because obviously they have a lot of heavy cavalry, so these people could do a lot of damage. So like, like managed to take down quite a few actually in a little first volley. Don't want to commit to any form of thing. I'm glad that they actually pulled back. Another blast of virus has came in, getting a few more, so that's always nice to get some free noble horsemen from the safety of our uh, little shack here. So I just split up my melee cavalry just that um just that little bit, because if we do manage to engage, I got then a unit or two to come around and surround them, so we all have the upper hand in that. Not 100% too sure why they're bringing up their, uh, their flaxmen here, but good attack unit, probably just to get ready to set this on fire. I clearly saw that, and as you can see, I kind of dedicate everyone to kill them. But at the same time, we have a lot of, um, I say we have a lot of spear, I don't think we actually have any spear infantry between us, so... Their caravan could actually just do quite a bit in general because of that. There we go, the fires are lit! And... And that happens. My order is, there we go. My order is just really quiet for some... odd reason. Well, this guy as well, I'll probably move these guys over here and make them run a little bit faster than what they are. Also, you have to be careful here of their cavalry that keeps harassed well. Trying to pressure me, obviously they're harassing me, I'm more harassing them. So I obviously didn't want to engage just in that until that. So I'm going to pull back for a minute. I don't know if it would have been wise to engage in that, because then I could have used my eye cavalry and just got rid of their cavalry a little bit earlier and it would have been quite nice. But I believe their cavalry is quite a bit better than my cavalry in terms of melee. And especially since they got, um, what they call them, spears. There we go. Two lots of spear cavalry there. Um, bonus rest of cavalry is going to be a lot higher than I. But as you can see, I'm going to quickly come rush in. This is probably my first mistake coming up very soon. I'm rushing in my uh, melee cavalry here, and they're like, Alright, I am not going to engage this that fully, so I'm going to come across, and I'm going to try and be a sneaky little bitch. Because as you can see, their bowmen's open, and they are good archers. They're doing, they will do a lot of damage to my cavalry if they get the, um, the chance to. Rushing in here though, one thing that I didn't realise, and I wouldn't have done this if I knew it, their general is also noble horsemen, which means they're able to cut me off relatively early. I'm like, oh no! <laughs> and also, I can't really commit my cavalry to help into this because they will just be engaging in too much many for my uh, my liking. So I'm gonna try and force a few of them out, see if I can salvage whatever I can from these guys. I don't know how many of them actually left. Oh no, they got caught up again. I've lost about 50% of the unit. I think by the looks of it. Probably then I'm going to lose this cavalry uh, unit here. This guy decides to come back in. He's like, yep. What are we going to do here? There we go. They're starting to waver a bit now. Yeah, we're down like 20% of the unit. And they're broken already. So already I have lost one marvelous bit of my cavalry. We've not even engaged Sparta yet. Sparta being Sparta is one of them that we do not want to, uh, to deal with. So they bring up the Slingers now. Slingers, they have good range. They can probably harass me with a little bit of pressure to make me a little bit more hesitant in terms of. Uh, Charging, but I do have armored horse archers, so slingers I'm gonna do too much damage to that. Oh, pardon me. This is one of the things that you gotta be a little bit careful of. Obviously, as you can see now, that Sparta has brought quite a few of his um, range units here. He still obviously has some of his slingers here. Oh no, these are pelters. I forgot about that. He's got some more over here as well, if I remember. Yes, he does indeed. Anson. I will also say this now, there will be a little bit of fast forwarding in this uh, replay a little bit later on because let's say stuff happens and then we're like, oh, okay, 
I mean, I had to quite deal with this. But in this dead zone here, I kind of got my men here just so they're like, okay, they have to dedicate all of this force to face it. Kind of got a few guys here which we're bringing up now. We weren't really too sure how we we're going to also deal and how to use this terrain to any form of advantage if there is an advantage to doing this terrain. I don't know why some of our cavalry is coming back. I'm going to pause it quickly just because I want to see. It's not a good place to pause. I'm going to look at this one. Alright, now just a fancy headdress, really. That's cute. Also, because they've got quite a lot of um, range units here. These are the ones that I'm very cautious to be around. So because of that, I'm going to move um, now half my uh, range cavalry up onto the left hand side. Very slowly, of course, because I'm going to move them right across there. The path I'm going, yep, this way seems perfectly safe. So I had to manually bring them all the way down into the, um, into the little village here and move them up across again. I was thinking then if I had some cavalry here that I could have probably tried and hit into these uh, stingers. But at the same time, if I tried doing that, they still have their cavalry. And also, they do have their heavy bowmen. And also, again, heavy spear infantry, which is always what you want to see when you're playing with cavalry. So, this is one of the downsides. This is probably the game where it's made me stop and think about just how good this little setup is. I'm going to come over with a little Spartan army now. I don't know what these guys are. Here's a Sparta. All I know is that later on they get in a battle and they hold for a while. And down here he's got some pikemen. Buckle lights. And actually, that's quite a few pikemen. You don't really get that many pikemen when people play Sparta, so it's quite nice to see it because then it kind of brings up. I'm going to say it brings up a little bit more defensive game. Slingers now just in that little bit more open position. I'm just sort of reorganizing everything now. My main focus, I believe, currently is the shoot of this cavalry over here. Oh, it was at least a second ago. Raise a cheer for the general men. For the general men. <laughs> Wonderful. We just came into a little standstill, apparently. But it's quite brave with the slingers, though. That's, that's one thing for sure. Oh, uh, in terms of offensive, our actual plan was if we were to get them to attack, since uh, Orca here has a fair few legionaries, to have just one in like quite far in front in a little attacking pseudo motion, and then all the archers and slingers will focus on that unit, in theory. Oh, <laughs> while the rest push up. So, that's what nice. I'm bringing up some of my uh, cavalry archers here. I don't know what the key factor of that was. Okay, I think I wanted to get them enough just to do a little bit of harassment, but at the same time, I didn't want to get cut off because they've got cavalry here and they've got cavalry there. So it's going to be one of those things, and obviously now since I am now lacking one melee uh, unit of cavalry, I can't really do as much as I want to. I am moving up these guys here, because as I said a minute ago, I didn't quite know what they were. But I knew if they called the Hero Spire, or Hero Spire, that they're gonna do a lot. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go here. He's moving away his cavalry. I don't know why he's moving all his cavalry away. He must seem to be uh, quite focused on this one. I'm not really sure what's happening here, though. We did manage to hit into some of the slingers. Some of the uh, Hawkeye's cavalry did come up as well and hit into the uh, into some of the horsemen. We've got a little bit of melee happening down here now. I'm not trying to look at it now, seeing who's going to actually come out on top of this. I kind of got my guy in here, we have quite a bit, seeing as they're starting to slightly waver. Spear Horsemen are actually losing the battle in this quite decisively, so. Here's hoping when that pays off, we managed to win this little skirmish unit in here, because I sure do know that we need extra. I'll bring on these guys here just for a bit of arrow fire. Another set of cavalry here, because I need the extra set of cavalry in terms of melee. When you come in here, 43 against 80. There we go, that charge should also knock out a few there as well. There you go, they're down in the morale. They're gonna start wavering soon. One did manage to retreat here, but it's not completely broken, so he may come back into the fight. They are part of Sparta after all, so I don't see them running away for too long. 
over here, I don't think I'm actually am pecking up into the units yet. There we go, I'm in range now. And I do just start withering down. There, all spot. Come down into now, he's got small cavalry coming in, small spear horsemen. You be careful with my, uh, my cavalry. The Armenian cavalry is actually really good if you, um, get it set up quite right. So, I'm kind of hoping here that I just do have just enough to pull through. Still heck fighting here, then. We are fighting even more by the team of it, but they do have less men. I'm not actually too sure if they have more arrow fire. I oh, know, we got some of our. some of Hawkey's little javelin men here now, so. <coughs> oh, sorry, so the cavalry here should wither down quite quickly. Not really too worried about um, friendly casualties, I actually can't remember if they do that much. Obviously, you'll have to be careful here of his um, cavalry, because they are the uh, heavy bowmen, I'm going to do a lot of damage in all of this, considering everyone's just in there. There again, my guys now starting to waver. I don't know if my guys actually break here. 15 out of 80, they are lost a heavy bulk of the men both of my units have. Horsemen, though, managed to still holding into the battle, which, to be fair, I'm not actually surprised of. Over here, obviously, I'm pulling back a little bit now because I have just been sort of wittering them down with arrows. I'm not actually too sure if they realise that or is he just doing like a mass plan across. Back to the battle here now. Um, oh, my nose again. I've had a slight element again. Every time I decide to do a video, I always seem to get some form of cold or something to impede my uh, videos. But here, as you can see, my men have broken out once again. I'm not really too sure what's going to be going on down here. Cause he's got to be careful because he has all of his men up here. We don't really have much. Well, I'd say we don't have much covering him. He did bring some to your area. I do remember that now. Wonderful. We do have some form of inventory versus cavalry if we so truly need it. But I think at the moment here, we just seem quite focused on just taking down the Spartan uh, slingers here. Also, got to be careful with the uh, archers there. I think he is actually targeting and firing the, uh, the legionaries. Again, as we said, go things to put them in there um, to see mode. If they tried any form of fire, it's going to take a lot more to kill these guys. So, kind of give these guys a little bit, a little bit of um, movability and movement here. Still hitting arrows into the front lines here. Once again, we got some noble swords. It's going to come down to hard melee at the end of the day. So, I'm going to get rid of their. Uh, uh, units as quickly as possible, hence why also this is happening. I don't know how he didn't really quite notice this. But he's... I think I asked him actually, because they did do quite a bit. He's got them somewhere. I asked him uh, how much they cost. It was 950, that is 950 coins worth of men out. Straight out, that's, 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 that's a free grab for us, which is nice. Here they would be careful, because as you can see, uh, Garte <coughs> has charged in on his horsemen. He is against the uh, Legionaries. The Legionaries should be able to hold that off quite nicely, but... They still did enough here and managed to break his um, units there. Coming over here now, I don't actually know what I'm targeting and firing at here. I'm going to just do this to see what actually is in range. If anything, I'm going for naval swords, but heavy spears there. Yeah, okay. It looks like we're just automatically hitting into these guys. So when you get these guys in the back, I kind of got them here to face up against the uh, Spartans. I have a lot of faith in these actually. Oh, pardon me. They do have a wonderful unique ability here. So it's kinda cautious. They didn't actually notice that I managed to break their unit here. They'll bring up these. Actually first I did believe these were um, slingers, that's why when I look back here thinking of it, oh they did they did have some down here as well. Because now with their twenty five range to my one twenty five, obviously I'm in a very nice easy position to do and again more free picking. He's just gonna keep pushing up if he wants to try and get me. I'm a lot faster on horseback so I can keep pulling back if need be. So I think I'm to the point now where Sparta is just going to do what Sparta does best and get into the actual fight. So, like I said, I got my axeman here. I'm ready to fight. This guy here is actually, um, surprisingly hidden. The plan behind this is if they did attack, three units will hold to the best of their ability. Well, these guys, well, actually, these guys are here to help block off here, stop any uh, flanking. But, this unit may move around and this unit may move across. That's they need to fight and flank off the uh, Spartan offensive. Over here, got to be careful because as you can see, there are Jabra first to get that a little bit closer. Ugh, probably what would be wise for me to do is just split two units off, come back around and reinforce this, and have one unit here to peg into them. But I kept the free doing it, I guess. Four arrows means quicker kills. Here, as you can see, the Legionaries has um, split right across now to their main bog land. There are general who's here in the open, which I thought was wonderful, so obviously my uh, my arch cavalry will be slightly focused down upon them. It does kill that many, only really kill like two, really, in there. 
And as you can see here, some form of melee is about to engage the heavy uh, archers are still getting all of their shots off. Some cavalry has very bravely gone into Tiara right there into the flight, and then even possibly braver again hit into the uh, legionaries. Not probably its uh, plan, as you can see here, still chasing. Oh, Hawkey had dogs, I forgot! <laughs> so, um. Yeah, the dogs actually sadly after they did a bit of running around because they got caught up themselves, they just sort of effed off and you didn't quite know what was going on here. Here as you can see my uh axemen are charging into the uh Peltzers. This will be an easy fight for my guys, I'm actually lost a lot more than I uh, wanted to in that. In terms of melee coming off, if I do decide to hound them down it'd be alright. I do have uh, as you can see here uh cavalry fire. Oh I do split them. Wonderful. I thought looking back at it now, it was quite an obvious thing that I should have done. <laughs> Going back into your Abra, this is probably where the key of the firing is going to hit down. I didn't even describe how we managed to get hit here by the Spartans and how I missed that. You got, well, you know, some Spartan hoplites, Spartan hoplites, and uh, some pikemen in behind, just giving the uh, defensive bonus there. So if we can really push them back, we can try and push the Spartans back, which is funny enough in itself. You got the pikemen behind them, which will hold that line up quite nicely. Not really too sure what my guy there we go. Okay, so you know that I said I'll come and bring down the flank around. As I said before, I have a lot of faith in these axemen. But this is a scenario which I didn't really want to be in, going head to head against Spartans here. But I am charging the back of their pikemen, plan behind it. If we break this side, we can just sort of momentum that on and on and on, you know what I mean? But as you can see here, it's, uh, straight away Spartans bringing some of his pikemen out behind the flank. More or less just to stop that, which is actually a nice play from him. If I notice that, I might have actually pull these guys back, just getting flanked here, as well as having uh, some more Royal Spartans up behind me. Is something they don't want to do. Peltras at the end of the day were just Peltras and I had cavalry, so I kind of thought, effort, I'm just going to charge you. So I managed to get rid of these guys here, ready for the keys. Obviously, now probably wanted to bring these guys into A, take down the hero spines, as we saw in the Royal Spines, and then to try and reinforce them here while all that fighting happens. Uh, most of the gameplay still, I was focusing quite a bit on my cavalry here in Common Doom. So we want to be a little bit careful here on this one. Dog handlers as well, managed to get into the uh, fray a little bit. Only got four dogs left with a 76, which is a bit sad. Coming over here, as you can see, my general was now in there. I'm going to think I get my general into the fray just a little bit. Managed to do the big rally because we are fighting Spartans. Oh, pardon me. As like I said, my uh, guys do have a keen ability just to trudge through uh, any terms of melee, these guys. So well, I got some reinforcements here for some of. Uh, Legionaries, which is very nice there for Hawkey to spare some men, especially since he's got quite a bit of the Garte here to focus about. Obviously, I've got my cavalry here trying to help out a little bit where I can. Uh, probably could have fought uh, fired into these guys a little bit, but obviously, the Legionaries do uh, throw out some spirits themselves, so I'm kind of hoping now that Hawkey does a little bit of range before we go. I don't know what my guys are doing then, before we hit into the uh, fray. Also, I've got my cavalry here, which I'm focusing now. I think I'm, I'm now apparently just using them in terms of melee. And I'm just going to try straight into their bowmen. Actually, I might be out of ammo though, so I must have wasted a lot of ammo here in the Heroes of Spa uh, previously. Some of my guys here are starting to waver. Couldn't really blame them, to be fair, when you're surrounded by Spartans in this sort of fight. Not really too sure. Oh, my general is also in the fight. I sent my general onto their general by the time of it. Yep, that sounds about right. Royal Spartans are a lot better than these Noble Spearmen. <laughs> I'm going to say that now. Cavalry here now to um, the sort of spiraling around. I'm just going to hit whoever I really can who seems weak. Mainly um, archery units. He had a very thin line of spearmen stretched out, so cavalry charge. It was Colonel the right against that, since they had their back turns as well, so I kind of got a bit of a devastation hit on them. So that's quite nice. Uh, in terms of a little prolonged melee like this, there you go. I'm going to lose probably a little bit more men than them, so as you can see, I'm sort of now moving around a little bit more. Got this here around there, they don't need me in here anymore, so I'm going to keep advancing around in what I can, where I can. Uh, got one or two uh, horsemen in here sorting out the uh, archers, which is very nice. Coming up here, however, I'm going to see how this fight is happening here. I kind of got my guys off um, skirmish, not skirmish nation, um, yeah, skirmish tactics. So I'm going to sit here and either fire arrows like they are, and this guy's just going to sit here because I they are also out of ammo now. Uh, legionaries against uh, heavy spears, I do believe that the legionaries will slowly but surely again charge through there. I'm going to come back over here and then see how this is going. This is going marvelously, as you can see, my, he my, my heroes. My uh, general has been completely surrounded, now being stabbed by a thousand people. Uh, now these uh, axemen here have to try and hold off to the best of their ability the uh, spot in front. Very, uh. There we go. Look at that. I did use my cavalry to come in from behind just to try and do what I can. 
here is one of those little, well, we tried. We came against Spartans and we tried. Here is looking like a lot more glorious a tale where the Romans are beating down these barbarians quite, I say quite easy, I don't actually know too sure what's the battle logistics here is in this. Uh, my frame rate's being hammered, why is that? We're at 20 frames per second, I don't know why it's so low. I don't think I really need to commentate what's happening here. Spartans went into melee. Those who they went into melee against are running or dead. So, sounds about right. Hawkey's bloody up, sending these guys in. That's a bold move, I guess. Probably just have to hold up the Spartans just that little bit for now while we get rid of the rest of the units. So, we do have some cavalry here, and as you can see, I got some cavalry here as well. I don't know about actually I'll keep them in this melee. It's probably wise for me now just to turn them around. I... It's a medieval mosh bit. Let's go for it. Because I should be sending back this cavalry pretty quickly, especially with the pike would now sort of moving up. That guy, yeah, he did. As you say. I don't know what Spartans these are. Ah, oh, yeah, these are the extra heroes of Sparta. They actually fight for quite a while, actually. I didn't realize that this battle was going on at this point in time. Yeah, that looks cool. Gotta be careful with my cavalry though, running through that. There you go, looks like we got a bit of a match right now from the guard here. So I don't know, we don't. The general is coming in to spear on the men to keep on fighting nobly. Then again, he is fighting Romans. Over here, as you can see, Sparta seems, Sparta seems fine. <laughs> Like, um, normally Sparta brings strong units, but a small army is one of those wonderful little things. But this time Sparta actually had the biggest army out of all of us, which is quite surprising. Obviously, I did bring quite a lot of cavalry, which impedes my, uh, my numbers quite a bit. But as you can see here, we managed to break now the rest of the guard oh, I say that once the general goes, the stubborn man that he is, if I'd say a word which I shouldn't be saying online. There you go, six men remains. So once our general breaks, that's more or less the uh, the guy is sorted out. Not too sure why their bowmen are coming back. Absolutely exhausting, you can tell by the way that they run. And then shortly after that, we all have Sparta to deal with. So as you can see now, I don't know what's too sure what this line is about. Oh, some fire arrows coming in here. Wait, what? I don't know what these guys throwing in. Did you get flaming javelins? I actually never tried. Hmm. Yeah, I have. Of course you can. Idiot. I'm wonderful. By the looks of it now, Hawkeyes are sending his brave TRI to stand in a strong line between, well, this fight and the rest. This is where I think the heroes of Sparta aren't actually quite worth me killing on earlier because these guys just sort of sit here and they just tank it up. I'm not too sure how many of them or our men really are still going on. I don't know if I can actually click this and it's going to go into this battle. It is going to go into this battle. Wonderful. I would admire this a lot more if my frame rate for some reason wasn't going all crazy. Can I come out of that now because I do see the Spartans are charging here. <laughs> it's like charge pike formation. Yeah, we're going to pull back. <laughs> there you go. He's got a strong defense born. Wiggling his way through that, I believe it looks like. Okay. This moment. It's the moment when you realize that you are heavily outnumbered. I say heavily. When you're outnumbered. So, what do you do? You plan your defenses. I didn't realize he has some. I'm a left hand legionary, so he's like, you know, I'm just going to sit here and get some freebies. I don't need to get into melee against you. Over here, however, those heroes of Sparta are still fighting on. Worship the wise, make sure you bring them if you play a Sparta. Here is our actual our little saving grace in this battle. This is this is our line, especially since he's got a load of pikemen here. He does bring some pikemen here actually a bit later on. I didn't realize he doesn't actually have any yet. There we go, he's on this line a little bit. But uh, his general's just out in the open. I say uh, he's he's out in the open as much as you want him to be out in the open, I guess. So we're obviously gonna try and take down these guys first. I believe I only have yeah, I only have these three. Cavalry units left. I kind of did get 
thrash quite heavily in here. I didn't do a lot of damage to the Spartans, as you can see. But now it's going to be one of those weird little awkward moments where he's going to have this big defensive line and we're going to have to figure about some way to hit it. Currently now it actually seems fine if we saw this earlier. Oh, pardon me. I would have suggested trying to hit along this line sooner rather than later. But I do believe that most of um, Hawking's men are relatively tired. Here's Spot are still not dead by the way. They're not even, okay, they've lost now just over 50% of their men after that cavalry charge. That battle's been going on for a while. So. Very nice to see actually, that unit hold his own so well. The audio keeps playing up. Whoa. And this is a quiet zone. After that battle's finished, we have to be careful here because as you can see he's now got uh, his pikemen across here. We didn't really take too much effect of this, we thought he's going to be there and defend that a little bit. Try and get rid of this unit because that unit, if that unit was in this mix, it would be a lot scarier mix as goes for the uh, small spawns. But uh, our core now is to focus about how to get these safely. Safely being a very hard word when you're fighting Spartans. <laughs> ah! They're wavering after losing like 60% of their men. They are starting to waver just that little bit. Nope. <laughs> Changed the mind. If I was Hawker, I would have pulled back his uh, general by now and commit the legionaries. Well, I'm not too, too sure what his plan was. We were discussing this at great length. I don't know because the fighting here is going to be one of those dangerous little things. Again, we've had, actually had a few opportunities where we could have hit before this got as deadly as it did. So as you can see now, he's got more pikemen down here. He's got pikemen on this side. He's got a lot more on his right hand side than he does on his left hand side, but it's enough to be a very strong defensive little point here. And as you can see, the pistol for resistance here. All these pipes like this remind me of the Urukai. I think in the two tower scene. There we go, he's got his Enemy approaching, sir. He's got his shield walled up. He's focused actually mainly on my cavalry, which in a way is good, even my cavalry obviously has the higher charge bonus. But it's also bad because you have legionaries just behind you. So I still can't believe these guys aren't dead. Not even routed. Let me see if I can click here and I go back to this little fight. I'm just going to admire this for a while. Actually, no, I'm not. I want to admire this for a while, but I don't know when we charge against the Royal Spartans. Ah! They broke! Wonderful! After losing a hundred men! Oh. And now... We decide on how we're going to tackle the Royal That's a good way to tackle it. Oh, that was right in his face. Holy crap. That's wonderful. Not of ammo now though. But I'm glad I watched that. <laughs> Alright. General time. Because we can't really hit this if they have the general because their morale is going to keep getting boosted and boosted. Etc. Etc. <laughs> this might be one of those moments where I said I'll fast forward. Oh, no, we're going in for the attack quicker than I remember. Alright. Here's the charge that we are wanting. Oh, I pulled them back. I didn't want to charge in the X, so I'll hit the wall. Okay, if you hit them in the front, and then I hit them there. Didn't do too much. They're still in the shield wall formation. So now that I pulled in all my characters like that, to stop their lines a little bit, disorientate them. I do believe I pull my cavalry back rather quickly because they are at the end of the day welding spears against my cavalry. So I kind of hit him, do as much as I can from that already. This unit's starting to waver and I just probably lost quite a bit in the initial charge. Did quite a bit of damage there. We're going to pull them back. A few extra javelins now have been thrown in. If I knew that they had a ranger, we suggested using them a little bit more against these guys up here. But now you can see that they have turned and they engage now in a noble fight against some legionaries. Quite good. 
through now, Jaren's coming in from behind, hitting into the back of the spot of this guy. Is he? Oh no, I was looking at the wheel up for this was a jab and here is taking the back of this guy. I was like, whoa. No battle happens up here yet for a while. We're dedicated to taking down these spots. Because they need the uh, morale penalty against these guys here by losing the general. And there we go, combat has engaged. Let's focus down here. Nope, this is going to go to my camera now. How nice it is to see them walk around. That. Must remember that because we just got maximizing it. So when I play a battle, I don't have a mini map. Are they like, where are they, men? <sighs> also, try to get some Napoleon up for you, uh, you guys. But we're in time, but sadly, that. Didn't go to plan because I wanted to play uh, an opponent with Paul King before we did this battle. But he has some weird bug in opponent 24 7 where he, can, he can't really connect to uh, any host at all. But in turn, we played this. <coughs> and there's a little bit of that ailment I spoke about earlier. I'm surprised it took me this long to cough. Little zoom out there just to see what was happening. I'm across, I'm focused on this guy here because he's just one spot and taking out everyone. But then I'm also quite amazed at this legionary because he is just one legionary taking on everyone. <laughs> so I don't actually know which one's braver. You can watch Spartans being Spartans or a legionary being. Oh, he's dead now. <laughs> Fair enough. So there's a Spartan though. There's a mix between battle at even and losing. I don't know if I told Hawkey to recharge these guys, because these guys, as you see, they're standing here and he's only like three or four. And again, the conflict compared to all of these men here fighting all of these men there. So. There you go, a few more men are going in there. I ain't gonna talk. I'm just gonna let you admire this battle. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. And here we come. Batch is debating how we're going to do this. We went through so many different tactics. It's unbelievable. So I'm just going to hit on fast forward because we were discussing this at some great length. Oh, pardon me for being so rude. It was not me, it was my food. It popped up just to say hello and now it's gone back down below. Honestly. So I'm going to run a few, a couple scenarios that we went through. A couple scenarios were one, sacrificing more or less my cavalry, lining up his men, sacrificing my cavalry and hitting the weakest point, which I believed at the time we saw as this little bit here. Because they got such a big cluster here. It was one of those should we even attack it sort of things. I'm going to hit two, and once he's got weakened here, he's got the legionaries here. Or once they get disoriented here, my cavalry sort of lose themselves. Sending the legionaries here to fight, but Hawker's a bit now. Now you can you can use your cavalry a bit more effectively later on. We can just sort of hold it out, like hold it out. I guess it speaks a little bit more of my character or my my plans. I will be happy to kill off the rest of my men if it claims the victory. <laughs> so uh, another one. I can't remember what another one was. I think we debated some more range, but we didn't have any range we do it with anymore. I think to the end, we just kind of came down. I'll put it on that explosion now because it's going to just get there twice as fast. But I'll discuss the plan as we get there. <laughs> I 
interesting point, Nagate guy was still actually in this battle. So the whole entirety of it was actually talking. It was nice. People should talk more. There we go, moving our cavalry, getting our lines moved up somewhere. I believe this is where we're getting close to knowing what we're gonna do. Let you have a quick look to see where you rather hit. You got all these pikemen here. You got some pikemen facing this way with a lot of Spartan hoplites. And up here you have a kind of a big mixture. You got Spartan hoplites so at the back. You can see here some pikemen with their pikes sort of splitting through a little bit. In the front here you have more pikemen. Spartan hoplites, however, are not looking this way. And on this side you have more pikemen. So this is one of those wonderfully big defensive games. So we march all of our guys up. Where you want to hit yet? I'd like to hear your opinions down below. How often do I ask people to comment on stuff nowadays? And this is where we have it. The big disorganized front here. They got more men, and we're gonna hit. <laughs> we're gonna Hit them straight up the back, fast and hard. Because our uh, general plan here is because if we manage to break the distance, they all are so disorientated, really. And uh, on different angles, we can only get a little bit of an edge off in the corners. So we're going to have these guys here just doing the best of their uh, flying, as it were. And come from this angle, so we can see a little bit more on what the Romans are going to do. They can't really see what the Romans are going to do from any angle. So. And if my cavalry, I'm holding them back now, just getting them ready to, if I see any prime opportunity where my cavalry could be useful, I'll send them in there. So you can see here, the pikemen and the hoplites are going to try their best now to beat back the legionaries. The legionaries are nice and fresh. Uh, I do believe some of these guys. Are they? Okay, yeah. I can't remember in this game and not being in a particular formation that that held your stamina at, um, pardon me, the point that they were at. Because like in, um, Say something like the Poland being a skirmish formation to hard your men out. I don't know why. But they did. <coughs> so as you can see here, since it's just a bulk mainly uh, Spartan hoplites and a few less uh, pikemen, the numbers of the legionaries here are slowly beastmen back as as fast as they can, really. So again, we're going to sit here and just a Martin animation of combat here in the fray. Yeah, this little poke here is actually looking at it their weakest point and the less pipe room so we're gonna get into the melee a lot easier. So now it just becomes a bit of a slug fest really. There we go, this unit here is starting to waver just a little bit. <coughs> oh sorry. Yeah, that's one unit out of the battle. Not too sure if Hawkey commits the second unit straight away. Back here, bed down. Battle horn goes, sounds like more extra legionaries are now starting to run into the mix. Slugfest continues. I'm not too sure if I'm actually doing anything yet with my cavalry. Nah, no, it's kind of coming together just a little bit extra. And 
another legionary force. Fight then. <laughs> oh, some extra legionaries now. Bolter the numbers just that extra little bit. I just missed that spot and being killed. I saw him in the corner of my eye. There you go, the charge comes in, some extra Romans. There we go. Let's say next Roman somewhere. I don't know why these guys are pulling back. Did they actually route, did they? There we go, they're starting to uh, waver a little bit now. I'm not too sure why Hawkey brought them back actually this early. Probably it's a good idea considering how much they have been uh, hit. They'll win this slightly as well. As you can see here, actually, I didn't actually say this, but um, the TRR is starting to hit the Northern Regiment now since obviously we did quite a lot here. Their lines will not be as well just kind of organized as they once were. So they managed to take out the TRR right up here now, so the fighting has begun. Second guy, extra Tiara getting ready to come up here on the move. Legionary's broke here, you probably see a few of them there. There we go, running out, and you've 28 men on to the left. Legionary's as well on this side here, starting to uh, waver a little bit. Oh, when I use my cavalry and I'm waiting for it. Nice relatively big open spot here though. Gotta be careful because I'll see you there. There we go. Is that me? Yeah, my small regiment. <laughs> Most of them died. I get the charge bonus and I sort of death off really. I don't know if I managed to salvage this unit or not, and they do manage to break here. <laughs> oh, mate. Nah, I didn't manage to lose those units. Not really that surprised, to be fair. Uh, and my cavalry hit him. I'm sorry to do their line stuff that extra little bit. I can see most of their pike now facing to the uh, left. Got the odd wall like this guy here. Now hitting into the side. As you come on. Pull them back out again. <laughs> Fuck off. There you go, we've got some extra legionaries now coming hitting from the side. Stages taking down a little bit each time. Every time. And the Spartans are starting to waver. The Roman forces have managed to push just a little bit each time. More cavalry coming in. Kind of hit the back of the legionaries just that extra bit. Didn't get as much of the bonus I wanted them. So again, pull them straight out again, do it, so we keep using them as a hit and pull out, hit and pull out, hit and pull out. Let's get them a little bit ready each time, as you can see here, we've now got 
rid of their big box, so unless they actually move their men, they're going to keep pushing down to the side of them and not going to do any bonuses, especially for these pikemen here, which is sort of facing the wrong way. This is why we need to get rid of that general pretty fast, that they have the morale boost of the inspired and all of that one with the rallying. Breaking this line would be a lot harder than it is now. So I'm kinda glad I had all of these uh, Romans here. I don't know why they broke off so quickly. 92 men remaining and they just sort of got on and left. Which is why we were like, oh, sick, <laughs> sort of thing. He's going to have to move some of these Romans, um, Romans spines around now to fight the Romans. Because as you can see now, we are just doing a little whitewash. They are slightly now out of position and moving in a different location, which means, as always, my cavalry should be doing something. There you go. There's a charge and a battle horn from them. Oh, I could be careful not hitting the Romans, of course. As you can see, I'm sort of... All right, my men just a little bit. Hit one unit in. Yeah, <laughs> some of them caught up down here. As you wish. Pull them back with another regiment already in there to hit in again. Then we've got these Romans, of course. The Spartans cannot hold on to all of that. They are starting to waver. They start to break. The car I'm charging this through. Only three units left here from the uh, Spartan defensive. What well, I would have done by now is move these guys along the back of these walls and had them sorted. They're in, in cove again. But by the team of the bit, all of these Romans just moving their way down and down and down. This guy's gonna rock me charge through apparently. Oh, these guys are feeling brave. There you go, a little bit extra cavalry now hitting into them, just trying to disrupt their lines a bit to get our legionaries in there. Pull them back out again. One unit coming out, another unit going in. Now maneuvering his pikemen into uh, melee. Since they're now moving, I can send in my cavalry once again, hitting from the side. More legionaries, as you can see here. Now I'm moving around. You've also got some more legionaries in here again from behind. And I don't know if I actually just stick my cavalry in here now to uh, keep fighting. No, I know I've been back there. Uh, Hawky, get in there. Good little time to shine. And then. Final charge in from the cavalry. Final charge in from the Romans. A final big stretch from yours truly. Oh. And that was our game the other day. Sorry, the uh, videos are taking uh, a couple of weeks between each segment to actually, uh, to actually get uploaded, but I am very busy in terms of uh, both college work, real work partner work <laughs> but I hope you enjoy them when you can I've been Carpus and I'll see you again